Don't you know? Oh, so I'm just watching one of my own videos. I'm gonna do a bit of skincare this evening. I've just had a very lazy day, which is okay, it's allowed. I put a video on TikTok today. It was an old one from an ad. Sell out. That day I had done my hair. Whatever that means, to do one's hair. Is this hair not done? Someone put, well, you look quite nice when you let a brush get anywhere near you. Rude. I'm fine. Hashtag blessed with my skin. And it tends to behave itself as long as I don't pick at it. Recently, I have been picking at it, especially on my chin. It's probably a good thing it's not focusing. But I am very blessed. I get a lot of blackheads on my nose. Comedones is the medical term. Who knew? I did. <laughs> so I'm currently wearing no makeup. <laughs> Can you believe it? Yeah, you all can. What I will wash my face with, smoothing CeraVe cleanser. To be fair, this is my favorite. Dry, rough, bumpy skin. This isn't drying at all though. I feel like this gives a better lather, so I enjoy using it more. I do use cleansing balms, like the number seven cleansing balm or the Body Shop chamomile cleansing balm. So I don't mind it that it doesn't lather, but I do like a lather. So this has got salicylic acid in, non-comodogenic, which means won't clog your pores. And then, is Dermalogica Science the daily microfoliant? And why is it so fun? Because it's a bloody powder. It's a powder. It's on your hand, you mix a tiny bit of water in with it, then it's a lovely exfoliant on your face. Oh, it's very gentle as well, so you can use it every day. I can't keep up with stuff if I can't use it every day. You get daily or annually with me. Love that. And also, this was sent to me by Dermalogica. Hashtag blessed. These are the refills. I've got my sister some, I like it so much. This one and this one, I'm gonna go wash my face. I'll be back. They look like pyjamas, what do we think? They're from Chelsea Piers, it says no bad days. They are like most things, too small for me, but we move. Still got the boot on. We are cleanse. My top tip is to double cleanse. So if you wash your face with a cleansing balm to remove makeup, which I do, do that to remove makeup and then cleanse again with like a normal face wash. Or if you're just gonna use that, do two rounds of it. And wash your face for like a decent amount of time as well. I will show you actually. So I've sort of managed to have quite a lot of face masks and the like. So I'll show you how I've arranged them. How cute. My little box of face masks. Some ones in packages here. Some of these are hand. Some are for your feet as well. But the one I want to use today, the Espa Clean and Green Detox Mask. Balance and refine. Smooth generously over your face, neck and decolletage. I can't get to my decolletage owing to the height of my neckline. I'll be honest, the sensation of a charcoal mask drying on my face, I actually really don't like. But I read somewhere that you're not supposed to let them all dry up completely because that can just dry your skin out. Some of the other masks I have here, Dr. Jart, Ceramedin. Big fan of Ceramedin. This is just a tissue mask. Then these are some Dr. Jart Cryo ones where you put the ampule on your face and then you put the rubber over the top and you look terrifying. Let's put him back on my Furby box. It's not euphemism. Secondary to the sensation of it all and the mess of it all, I like to put masks on with a brush. This is a Body Shop one that came with the Body Shop masks. It's like an angled foundation brush. Do you remember when we used to put foundation on with these brushes and we used to just smear it on? I remember, and it was always Dream Matte Mousse. Terrifying. Oh my god, that smells incredible. I don't want to do the hand thing. I hate that that works. I'm so upset that that works because I've taken the mickey out of that for as long as I can remember. Let's be generous. How's my day been? How's your day been? I've had a headache most of today, probably because I had Smarties for breakfast. I understand the mistake I've made um, and I won't do it again. She lied. I'll tell you a bit about what happened with my foot. If you don't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I have got a broken foot currently. It's been broken since the end of October. It's never convenient to have an injury. I did it in the middle of the day. It wasn't like I was saving a kitten from a burning orphan or anything. I've done that joke before. Come on, Maddie, say something new. This is applying gorgeously. Coming down the stairs, I took the last step onto, I like to call it wood, but we all know it's linoleum, and my sock just slipped. My forefoot, which is like your toes and a bit, and my midfoot twisted. I heard something go, there was a horrible cracking sound, and I thought, that doesn't sound good. I'm very long, I'm six foot one. It is my entire personality, just kidding. I've played sport most of my life, and I have injured myself most of my life. So I've actually broken both my ankles before. I broke my lower leg when I was a lot younger. 
So I know what it sounds like to break a bone and I remember thinking, oh no, that doesn't sound good. Now I had dinner plans that evening with some friends and there's a bar that I really like in Manchester and they were changing ownership and they had an event. So I could partially wait there and I thought I am not turning up to an A&E unless I absolutely need to be there because I will cringe myself to death if I go and they say it's a bruise. I would throw myself into a sharp spin. I went out for this event and the pain unfortunately was just getting worse and worse. So by the following day I attended an A&E. I made sure to go to an excellent A&E. Well it was hugely swollen and bruised the bruising was literally developing in front of my eyes and i was like oh no i could absolutely not wait bear at this point i got an x-ray done and i'd expected to have fractured the base of my fifth metatarsal so your metatarsals you've got your toe bones that make up your toes and then attaching to that you've got your metatarsals and then beyond that you've got your tarsals your fifth metatarsal is that but is the long bone in your foot for your little toe so i thought that's where the pain is i think that's where i've broken it i'm in the cubicle i'm waiting for the advanced nurse practitioner to come back in and I can hear them talking about my x-ray and they're like, and that one, and that one. So I was like, cool, fun, fresh, it's not good. They were fabulous as always and sent me for a CT scan that same day. So I'm there thinking, I'll get an x-ray. They'll say it's a simple fracture, I'll get a boot and I'll get sent home. And then suddenly I'm being sent for a CT scan because it's something called a Liz Frank injury. And as most things are in medicine, it's named after a bloke. And he just basically described the spectrum of injuries that can happen between the forefoot and the midfoot. Now this can range from hugely displaced, unstable, needs an operation, big trouble to basically what I have which was a stable, undisplaced injury that didn't require any surgery but has been an absolute pain for the past couple of months. So I got seen by the orthopaedic doctor which was lovely, he was very very pleasant, everyone that day was incredibly pleasant, hard working, fun and fresh. Got sent home in a boot, got seen in the fracture clinic a few days later and you know that's sort of where we're at. It's slowly getting better, I think I've put enough of this on. Well it's a lovely sensation. It did say to apply generously. Smells glorious. How cute's the packaging as well? Got this cute sort of stone looking lid, beautiful green colour. So this is what my leg is currently in. My sister's decorated it. No she's not a child, she's older than me. And we're slowly getting there. And I've used the time that I've been off with my foot to prepare for a course and revise for an exam. So it's not bad, is it, really? Relax for 10 minutes. Do not eat. Whatever! People I know are going for a walk tomorrow. It's not very inclusive. Right, I'm gonna go wash this off, ladybugs. Refreshed. I quite enjoy the process of skincare. <sighs> a little spinny thing. Oh. Dr. Jart Tiger Glass Repair Serum. can't be bothered to put hyaluronic acid on today. Just the one serum today. And then I'm gonna allow that to sink in. But then this is another thing sent to me by Dermalogica because they're naughty little sausages and they spoil me. And I've been using it and enjoying it. Skin smoothing cream, very enjoyable. Well, I think it's got a scent to it, but a really light, delicate scent. The good thing about this is it says it gives you 48 hours continuous hydration, which is great because I forget to do my skincare in the morning recently. About that much. And then they like you to apply it in this upward motion. I always put the excess on my hands because hands are also made of skin. Something else, I can't do it now because my hands are greasy. But this is Eucerin Aquaphor Soothing Skin Balm. And that goes on my lips. We're getting greased up, up in this club. This is one of my longest relationships ever. I've been having a little bit redness here. Pseudocreme has worked quite nicely. Now, the thing with Pseudocreme is don't leave a big white layer. Is that you're overdoing it then. Pseudocreme is great as a barrier cream, but it's great at healing. I think it's got lanolin in it, which is great for healing. Zinc oxide, so that's got an antiseptic property. Lanolin, we love. And I think I'm sort of suitably greased now the rule is just don't i mean i've just touched them all but don't pick at your spots oh don't do it that's do a face mask with me i think what i've decided about my content is it's going to be similar to my tiktok content in that it's going to have no structure okay bye <laughs> like comment subscribe press the bell that makes me anxious that you expect a lot of me anyway bye